was initially alerted to all of this by my decent buddy. I say decent because I don't want to say good because I don't I haven't streamed enough with Mr. Bug yet, but I I tweet him. But a fellow Legion member, Mr. Bug. Shout out to Mr. Bug if you guys haven't watched any of Flashcast. Uh, he's the guy that does Flash's uh, intros for Flashcast. He, he, amazing, amazing creator. Love the dude. But saw this. Saw this interesting little thing <clears throat> from uh, him doing this whole little thing with Loki saying, oh, so weak. Well, what was that? Well, it's to this lady. Uh, Jennifer Ulster Magafe. Hashtag MAGFest. Not MAGFest. I read that wrong. Anyways, update. They're pulling the sign. We had no expectation. This would blow up like it did. Had to mute after a, the hundredth quote tweet. But we're glad that it led to the shitty jokes removal. Hmm. Well, what was that joke? Well, gonna come over here. These were the signs. <clears throat> Danny DeVito shrine. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I like Danny DeVito. Oh! Here it is. CCG. D&D &D Adventures. D&D &D Free Play. Simulations. Pathfinder Society. Pathfinder Free Play. Kotaku's Journalist Integrity 404 Not Found. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the joke she's talking about. So. When you go down throughout everything. You get. You get the. Uh, I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Yep. You know, Jennifer you know, rolling her eyes at the slight joke. Pointed joke. Honest joke, honestly. Anyways, you get, you get this. From Patrick Klopp. Hey, this sucks. What's the deal? You get Dak, whoever this dude is. Just a friendly jab. We still love Kotaku. Uh, well, to be fair, I do kind of like Kotaku and... uh. And I'm going to milk this site for all it's worth kind of way. But anyways, I'll put up a little heart and JK on the sign so people know it's in jest. Yeah, come back. Uh, where is it? Yeah, you come back right here. Just a friendly jab, JK. A formal response from ha at MAGFest calling this a friendly jab. Not sure that's going to exactly fly. You get Dak again. We'll pull the banner. This was supposed to be a snarky joke, and we certainly not meant to be taken seriously. All of our nav banners have just shit posty messages on the bottom. It was never a reference to anything in particular, though certainly not. GG, sorry, hashtag Kotaku. Get this low, love, lovely thing. A targeted joke towards a specific group of writers who frequently experience harassment is nothing funny, is not funny. Whether it was a reference or not, even a 12 year old understands that name dropping someone being bullied, even to be casually funny, just begets more bullying. Oh, sweet darling, sweet darling, they're not bullied. They're not bullied. They're pointed out for being the crappy website they are. And then you get this wonderful little article from a VGC. I love VGC, by the way. I think they do some great, some really good uh, articles on gaming industries and stuff. But they went through the whole thing and, you know, they, they got some quote, they got some wonderful quote tweets. Oh, hey, even, uh, even MAGFest responded. Hey, MAGFest community, we've heard you loud and clear that a joke we printed on a, our sig, on our signage, oh, signag can't say that right the navigation sign this year absolutely did not land for clarity it was intended to poke fun at one at one line in an article written about our <clears throat> response last year it was immediately pulled from the floor Ooh, i wonder what that would be i'm gonna look into that anyways but it wasn't it wasn't just that and a few quote tweets no it was frank clafrafra unlicensed.nes Gamergate dog whistling is about the last thing I expected to see at this show. I'm very disappointed in the org for displaying this. I'm on the hook for two talks here that I was excited to give, and this has made me lose steam. 
I have been told this sign is gone now. I get it. They're mad about an article from a year ago. But I totally forgot about that, and I'm, and I'm sure others did too. For me as a casual observer, this was Kotak, Kotaku in action. Ugh. What the heck was that? And it made me feel gross for being here. Ugh. Ugh. Hongul. Huge, huge yikes that the people running hashtag MAGFest are a bunch of Gamergate people. Yep, Gamergate. Gamergate, 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 for honestly, honestly, not, e not even a joke. Let let's be real. This wasn't a joke. This was a statement of fact because I, I did a, I did a nice little thing for you guys. <clears throat> Microsoft. Well, he, well, first off, here's Kotaku. Here, here are some of their latest headlines, latest headlines. Oops, Microsoft called FTC unconstitutional. Regrets that error. No, what happened is they just revitalized their their thing, which I will be doing a, another video on the whole Microsoft F, the whole of Microsoft stuff. I do like that. Well, you get here after retiring, Vince McMahon once back in WWE. Yeah, well, that's what Vince McMahon does. He leaves and then comes back, and then you get. No simple articles like this. Fire Emblem Engage sounds like a battle over the soul of the franchise. Well, very, very engaging. I'm curious what that meant. I don't really know. Get a God of War is still the go to for opening boss fights. Yeah, I, I'd agree. Little little things here. Oh, here's a deal. You should buy these games. Oh, oh, oh. crappy mobile game accidentally led to the best version of Vampire Survivor. So oh, interesting, interesting. Twelve of the most. Oh, you know they get. They get these listicles, they get articles, you know, a little pointed, some true, true, not the game of the year, but true, badass bat boss fights in God of War. Then you get jilted Witcher and Superman actor Henry Cavill is doing a Warhammer 40k series. Well, not that bad, but uh, very, very pointed, very, very pointed just from that jilted, well, I mean, it's not like it, it, it's not like you've ever done a <clears throat> something like a, I, I I don't know I, I I don't know I don't know Final Fantasy 16 dev has a terrible answer for why the game is so white not like you've ever done articles like this not like I've ever done a video on this article not not like you uh <clears throat> not not like you uh you ever get, did an article on uh, on this? We need to start holding J Japanese RPGs to a higher standards. No, no, hmm, no. Not like you've ever done an article on that, Kotaku. Because actually, ended up finding out you did take his whole uh, his whole reasoning out of context. Way out of context. He said it's about a certain area of the world. In a different time. So you took his whole thing out of context. Then complained about getting backlash. Oh, it's also not like, yeah. Final Fantasy 16 rated mature for sex scenes and hate crimes. Realism with sex, violence, drugs, and hate crimes landed at a mature rating. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. I could do a whole lot more digging throughout Kotaku. A whole lot more digging. And I could come up with maybe a bunch more articles on similar veins like this. Not that it doesn't even have to deal with Final Fantasy 16. I know there's one of Pokemon. I know there's one of Pokemon because I did a video on it. Where uh, you guys couldn't even play Pokemon right. And we're complaining about it. So, come over here to the Kotaku Journalistic Integrity. I'd agree. I'd agree 404 not found because uh let's just come back here. You did take this man out of context, and even I regret it because I did a video off of this. I bashed the dude. I learned more about the dude and I felt bad. Felt bad because actually his words were something completely different. But no, it's uh 
terrible answer for so white. Even though it was actually a really good answer and actually a very honestly, hey, who knows? Maybe you'll get more from this particular world in Final Fantasy. They're just focusing on one area. Not like you then complained about it, Kotaku. Not like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to do this one real quick. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Failure. Oh, I can't get it. Okay, never mind. But you you had an article. You know what? I'll link it at the end of the video. You had an article saying we failed at Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for don't for playing the game honestly and answering honestly and not playing it like an RPG. So and all of that. I did all that. Just there. Just there. So that this little joke, I don't even see as a joke. I see it as uh, legitimate. And I am a little annoyed with MAGFest, whoever you guys are, for taking down the thing. Because uh, you shouldn't have to hide the truth, Kotaku. Because your integrity is not there. But let me get you guys' thoughts down in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out with your friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.